Hello everyone. Today my topic of discussion is refractive error and its surgical management. Let's see. The contents are the definition of refraction and the eye causes, paths, refractive errors, symptoms, test and diagnosis and treatment. Now the definition says that refraction is a phenomenon which makes image formation possible by the eye as well as by the cameras and other systems of lenses. Most of that refraction in the eye takes place at the first surface since the transition from the air into the cornea is the largest change in index of refraction which light experiences. About 80% of the refraction occurs in the cornea and about 20% in the inner crystalline lens. The causes. Refraction occurs as light passes across the boundary between two media. A light ray can be deflected, reflected, bent or absorbed depending on the different substances it encounters. Most refraction occurs when light travels through the curved clear front surface of the eye, the cornea. The eye's natural crystalline lens also bends light rays. Refraction is merely one of the several possible boundary behaviors by which a light would, would have behaved when it encounters a new medium or an obstacle in its path. The parts. The parts of the eye that are used to refract a light. Cornea. The transplant part at the front of the eye that refracts light entering the eye onto the lenses. Lens. A transparent structure behind the pupil that reflects incoming light and focuses it onto the retina. The lens is able to change shape in order to improve the focus. Now, let us see what are the refractive errors. Refractive error means that the shape of the eye does not bend light correctly and usually it results in a blurred image. The main types of refractive errors are myopia, also known as nearsightedness, hyperopia, also known as farsightedness, presbyopia, where there is loss of near vision with age, and astigmatism. Let's see what is myopia. In myopia, close objects are clear and distant objects are blurry. It is also known as nearsightedness. Myopia usually is inherited and often discovered in childhood. Myopia often progresses throughout the teenage years when the body is growing rapidly. Hyperopia. Hyperopia where close objects are more blurry than distant objects. It is also known as farsightedness. Hyperopia can also be inherited. Children often have hyperopia which may be lessened in adulthood. In mild hyperopia, distant vision is clear while near vision is blurry. In more advanced hyperopia, vision can be blurred at all the distances. What is presbyopia? Presbyopia is aging of the lens in the eye. After 40 years of age, the lens of the eye becomes more rigid and does not flex easily. As a result, the eye loses its focusing ability and it becomes more difficult to read at close range. Astigmatism Normally, the cornea is smooth and equally curved in all directions and light entering the cornea is focused equally on all planes and in all directions. In astigmatism, the front surface of the cornea is curved more in one direction than in the another. This abnormality may result in vision that is much like looking onto a distorted wavy mirror. Usually, astigmatism causes blurred vision at all distances. The test and diagnosis are a routine eye examination, a vision chart and spatial imaging or other testing. Treatment In treatment process, it can be best managed by optometrics who are specialists in the diagnosis and management of refractive errors, the orthoptist who are specialists in ocular motility problems and assessment of refractive errors in very young children, the ophthalmologist, 
medically qualified physicians or surgeons. Let's see the surgical correction. This may entail a microsurgery such as lens implants or laser treatment to the cornea, photorefractive or laser surgery for the correction of refractive errors is well established and considered safe and effective for use in appropriately selected patients. Several types of laser surgery have been developed. This include a LASIK, a PRK and a LASIK surgery. They all are similar, typically talking about 10 minutes per eye and aiming to reshape the cornea by using the laser to remove a very thin layer of corneal tissue. The reshaping of the cornea allows the refraction of the eye to be corrected. Thank you so much. Hope you like my video.